So the next thing I got was um, a lipstick. Oops. So this is a lipstick. It's by Bourjois. It looks like this. The packaging is just, it's cute. I mean, yeah. Um, this is the color. It's called Sweet Kiss Natural in number one. And I just picked this up because I was looking at Holly Ann Ree's, um review on the NYX uh, round circle lipsticks. Did she do a review? I'm not sure. But anyways, I heard like so many gurus uh, raving about the snow white color. So uh, when she did the NYX review, I went to Cherry Culture and I looked at it and they sold out, which I, I don't know, I guess it's my loss. Anyways, so when I saw this lipstick, I instantly thought of the Snow White one, and I saw the test, and it was very close to um, what I would imagine the Snow White would look like. So it looks like this. It looks really dark in the tube, but on my hands, it, it looks, it's just like, oh, you can't see. It's just a true red, which is really pretty. So I'm hoping this works out well. The um, It's very creamy. It's not drying. It's not slippery either. It's, it's a good lipstick. It's a solid lipstick. So, it's definitely worth the money, but I've never seen this anywhere in, like, North America, like, Canada, or the States either. So, that kind of sucks. But, that thing, that lipstick, was quite expensive. It's $420 for a lipstick, so that's kind of ridiculous. Well, I guess for the quality and everything, it's good. So if you want to spend that much money on something like that, then go ahead. But I mean, it's just, I guess you would feel kind of ripped off because the Snow White by NYX is actually very comparable. And that's like way cheaper because this thing is $14. I don't know. But I mean, I can't get my hands on it. So this is the only way. And $14, you know, I, I don't regret getting it, but I probably won't get it again if I can get the NYX one. Alright, so the next thing I got was, oh boy, this is long. Um, no, I didn't get into this. So the next thing I got was um, razors. Razors. I got razors um, for my eyebrows. Uh, I've only had my eyebrows done professionally once, and they used razors instead of like tweezers or, or threading or anything. So. But I personally, I just tweeze them. But um, I noticed that like for those all those little hairs that you need to get, it's really annoying if you use tweezers because they'll go like one by one or two by two, which is really not efficient. So I just gave in and got a razor. I don't really know how good these were, but they were cheap. It was like for three, it was $65. So that's like $2, okay? $2, pretty good deal. And the next thing I got was I keep on looking at the wrong receipts. There's two wrong. Okay. The next thing I got was this. Was it? was this um Cezanne? Cezanne? Something like that. I don't know. Um, it's a Japanese foundation. I heard a lot of people, um, a lot of Asian, um, either forums or, um, some obscure YouTube people that I watch sometimes, or I happen to come across, they always say that, um, this is good. It's like a drugstore brand, I guess you could say, in Japan. So, but uh, people have been raving about it and they said it's very comparable to whatever you can get at high end so i mean i just got it to try it out there was also the Z is it czar is it just za i don't really know it's another asian brand and i was uh contemplating whether between getting the Cezanne one or the za one but just because you know i just got so much stuff i just went by whichever one was cheaper and it really wasn't much difference this was two hundred and seventy dollars um, Taiwan, and the other was three hundred. So thirty, thirty, thirty dollars Taiwan doesn't make much of a difference. 
but anyways i just went and got this one so i got it in the blue one there's the blue one and the pink one and i think the blue one is more for oily skin i may be wrong but whatever i got it already and so this is what it looks like yeah i got it in shade number two i was deciding between shade two and three um they're almost the same it's just three i think three is slart slight slart slightly um browner or darker and this one's a little bit more yellowy so i'm i'm actually very yellow so it fit it fits me well um this thing was i think this is worth it no matter what the price was oh 270 270 it's very worth it if you can get one i was about to order this um on ebay like three months ago but then i just I don't know because I'm not very fond of ordering foundation shade foundation online because you don't know what shade you are and I'm very lazy so I wouldn't bother returning things so yeah I'm glad I waited and I actually got to swatch it and see what color I would be and I guess I would be a two or three and I'm right so yay me anyway the next thing I got was not that oh okay the next thing I got was It's the Can Make um, Cover and Stretch Concealer. The only reason I got this was because I'm, I need a concealer. I don't have one. And I heard um, Kim Dow? I really don't know. But she's a really pretty girl on YouTube. You should go find her if you can. I'll probably link her if I can figure out how. Anyways, so she... Um, I recently watched one of her videos and she mentioned this and she's like it's really good and she uses it a lot so I just went and picked it up because I need one anyways so I got the lightest shade because I was contemplating with this they only have three shades so obviously not the darkest one because that's gonna be too dark for me um I, I think this is the fairest one or the one in the middle but then honestly like winter's coming and I'm probably gonna stay this color so I just got it for the sake of it so yeah um i tr i trust her reviews because i even though she doesn't have that many videos on like can make stuff but i mean you know she's cute watch her so that was 370 dollars so that's like 15 i think maybe not okay 12.50 so 12.50 for a concealer and that's pretty good because this is supposed to be really good so 1250 is worth it now the last thing i got was or did i not get it okay so i didn't pick it up anyways then we can move on and so after i got all that because my mom is a member and we spent so much money they give us a bunch of free samples like when i say a bunch i'm not kidding and sometimes when you go to like drugstores um in asia they give you free samples but they might not be very good they give you all of the shitty stuff but um what we got was really good well i think it's good they may be lying to me just because i don't shop in asia that much but okay i can't read that so i'm just gonna pull out whatever i get so what I'm really excited about were they gave me um, two, um, what are these things called again? Eyelash curlers. <laughs> they gave me two eyelash curlers. They're by um, Majolica Majorca. And my mom tested them out and they and she really liked them. She liked them better than the Shu Uimura ones. But I think it just really depends on your eye shape and how much um, curvature you're trying, you're trying to go for. But I really like these, and for free, very good. No complaints there. So the next thing I got, okay, I got this. It's um, Be Your Way Body Foam. So I'm assuming this is body wash. Um, it's eight milliliters, and it's they come, they give you two of them. So yeah, perfect for travel, and you know it's Be Your Way, right? Can't, it can't be that bad. Mm, and they got us this. It's a Garnier light pure lemon essence plus natural peeling fruit extracts it's overnight it's for a whitening peeling cream dark cells exfoliation reveal fresh and fair skin in the morning 
So I told you guys before, like Asia is really um, popular with the whole fair skin thing. So I mean, I didn't pick this out; they just gave it to us for free. So, but I think this is a pretty good deal. I mean, Garnier is like expensive. Well, it's not expensive, but it's like reputable, right? So if you got it for free, can't complain. And the next thing I got was this Ozawake. Ozawake. I don't know. Okay, whatever. It's this. It's upside down. It's a hair nourishing spa shampoo. So I guess it's supposed to be one of those like higher end drugstore shampoos or whatever. And they just gave us a pack and it's free. So good for travel too. Goes well with the body wash. And the next thing they gave us was this Smile White. It's for whitening teeth. It's, um, I opened it because I was curious as to what it was. It's mouthwash. Surprise, surprise. Um, I don't know how this is going to work. But based on the picture, you should get... That's what it looks like 30 seconds before. And that's what it looks like 30 seconds after. That's pretty nasty. But if it really whitens my teeth, I would, I would try it. I mean, I want whiter teeth. And they also gave us, yeah, they gave us a lot of free stuff. They gave us um this pert something. I don't, I have no idea what this is. Um, I guess it's like shampoo or something. It smells really good. It's um, on the front. They put like, is that ginger? Okay, I think that's ginger. It's some Chinese thing, but it smells good. It smells kind of like cinnamon and vanilla. Uh, I don't even know why I'm really looking at this because I can't even read it. So, yeah. And finally, the last free sample we got were baby wipes. And we got not one, not two, but three packs of baby wipes. Um, I think my mom just got it them to put in the car to clean the car when um, there's a mess or whatever. Baby wipes, very convenient. And yeah, so all in all, I bought a lot of stuff. I got a lot of free samples, and I would say I very much like Watsons, and I would probably go back sometime before I leave and buy another crap load of stuff. And yeah, I mean, if you're in Asia, Watsons is the place to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I tried to sneak some pictures and a video, but obviously it's like a a drugstore, right? So they're not gonna let you record. But yeah, it's all silent. And yeah, hope you enjoyed that. And please comment, subscribe, and like my video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!